figure this out on my own. You can just sit right there. Yep. Nope. That is bright. All right, so basically I have not touched the Beetle since buying it, other than driving it over 100 miles a day, and it's been doing great. So I do have an order from FCP of an oil change kit and a fuel filter replacement. So we're gonna go ahead and do both of those, but before I get into that, I'm gonna do a little flashback to last week and a Schmidt happens that we started to record. We're not gonna release the whole thing because you've already seen the video that I was reacting to, but we have some news from Schmidt. I'm just gonna go for it because I'm emotional and sad and depressed inside. This might be the last, this might be, for a while, the last Schmidt Happens that comes out. And it definitely is the last video that Schmidt is filming and editing for the Donuts channel for a hot minute. The short version is I'm doing a six month accelerated program uh, for software and web development. You know, fulfilling my inner dream of not cars. Um, and so within that, I'm taking a break. <laughs> solely because the two days or the one day that we film is one of the two days that I will be busy all day long with classes. So I have made the wise decision to back off so I'm not killing myself with the one day off. Yeah. I feel like channels like this that start out with multiple people and somebody leaves, it's always looked at as, oh, they probably got in a fight. We did. Um, <laughs> just kidding. All right, just hit play. No, you, you gotta be in the video too. I'm still in it. This is more for your face. Well, you know how I edit these videos. Zoom in all I want. Turn it back. All right, here we go. Too far. Lord of mercy. It's so sad. You didn't even notice it. Okay, take it all the way back to the beginning because he already missed a key. What the heck's going on? Notice the logo. Hold it up close if you need to. No! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, that's so sad! All right, so now that you're all filled in and sad, um, let's go ahead and get to working on the Belge Eagle. So picked up this kit from FCP. So we've got an oil change kit. We got some diesel purge, um, all from Liquid Molly, along with some engine flush, along with both of our filters, our fuel filter and our oil filter. All right, so inside of our kit, we've got both diesel purge um, and engine flush. So we're gonna go ahead and pull up that engine flush first. So engine flush we used inside of the golf video when we did the valve cover seals. Basically, you just dump it inside with your oil, um, run it at idle for about 10 minutes, and then you're ready to change your oil. I'll set that up there. And then you're good to go ahead and dump this whole thing. Don't forget to put your oil cap back on. All right, so we're gonna give that about 10 minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and change the oil. This is a cylinder type uh, oil filter, so whole thing's gonna come out just like that. Make sure you got a trash can at the ready. Perfect. I'm just cleaning some of the old sludgy oil out of here. Now keep in mind, you are gonna need to save this thing. Uh, your kit does not come with an extra oil cap, um, filter cap but it is gonna come with a couple extra O-rings, which I'm gonna show you how to replace those in a second. All right, so let's talk about what comes inside of your oil change kit from FCP. You're gonna go ahead and get an oil filter. Inside of that box is obviously gonna be the filter. You are also gonna get a new set of O-rings uh, that go on top of that oil filter cap. Uh, we did cover that in the golf video again, but if you didn't see it, we're gonna do it in this one as well. So you're gonna get both of those inside of that box. 
On top of that, obviously you're gonna get your oil, your 5W40. You're also gonna get a drain plug. Now I will go ahead and put links to all of this stuff in the description if you also have a 2004 uh, BEW TDI. Your oil drain plug is gonna be located right under the front of the car. That's what you're looking for right there, that little plug. That is your oil drain plug. All right, so this is that old oil filter cap here. There's two O-rings. One is located right around the top. One is located right at the bottom. And like I said, FCP gives us new ones, so we're gonna go ahead and replace those. We're just gonna use a little flathead. Those will come off just as easy. Pull that off just like that. Now, always save this just in case for some reason you were to lose the new one and or rip the new one. So always hold on to that, so keep that safe, especially the small one. Let's try and get that one off without ripping it. There it is, got them both. Let's go ahead and put the new ones on. Put them throw that big guy on first. And we're gonna grab the little one. There we go. All you can do is take some of that oil that's already inside of there and just kind of rub it around that O-ring. That'll provide a better seal when it goes on. So that is ready for the new oil filter to get put in. All right, so the oil filters are labeled. So you've got top open, uh, bottom doesn't say anything. So all the writing on top, obviously it's top open. So that is the one that goes facing up. So that's gonna go right into there. Now it should stick in, yep. Now we're just gonna put that down in there. All right. There it is. I don't know if you can see that perfectly, but we are right at the top of the fill line. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to this fuel filter. That thing's pretty corroded. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that and then do a diesel purge as well. We're gonna be just a little extra careful with these clamps, especially on these hoses, because they are a little dry rotted. Um, something in the future would be nice to go ahead and replace all of these hoses. Um, but for now, nothing's leaking, so we're just gonna, I guess, take our chances and leave them as is, because I do not have those hoses right now. Now, in theory, all we have to do is take off a little Mickey Mouse clip, and we're gonna try really hard not to lose that thing. And now this should pop straight up. Yep. Now keep in mind, there is gonna be fuel inside of this thing. There we go, fuel right now, so. Once we get both of those off and then this piece just pops straight off, again, full of fuel. So keep in mind, we're gonna have to dump that out. If you can see the little screw right here, this is holding the filter in. We gotta go ahead and take that off as well. So that's just gonna be a Phillips head. All right, now that should loosen. I don't think that's happening. So we gotta figure out how to take this piece apart. We cannot pull this straight out. It is getting caught on the uh, fender itself. We gotta figure out how to take this bracket apart uh, just to be able to get this out. Literally, I need like a quarter of an inch, but of course it's gonna be that close, so we'll figure it out. All right, so I figured it out and I'm holding it because I do not want to drop it. Basically, this guy right here um, holds both of the, there's like two little U-pieces that it holds together, that bracket that goes around, and we just slid that out, which when we put it back together, I should be able to show you how to put it back in. Um, but yeah, there is our fuel filter. So we're gonna go ahead and save this diesel and toss it inside of the tank. There's not a whole lot in there, but might as well save a little bit, right? All right, let's see if we can dump this in without dumping it all over the place. That is a negative.
Um, this is the new fuel filter. Now, we're gonna set that aside for just a hot second, just like the oil change kit. Um, FCP also sends some nice new O-rings. Now, these O-rings are gonna go on, I'll show you exactly. This guy right here, it's really hard to see because in this bug, everything's really close. Now, can you see there is a colored one and then there's a black one. So the colored one goes on top and the black one goes on the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and replace that before we put the new fuel filter in. I've just got a flathead screwdriver again. Now it's not critical that you replace these, but if your filter comes with them, you might as well use them. I can actually see this one's already ripped. So we're just gonna go ahead and rip it more. Cause yeah, they might've been um, pretty old. So it is totally worth replacing. I'm gonna go ahead and get that bottom one off, which is the black one. Here she comes. All right, again, that one also. Instead of trying to get this on the top first, you'd put that on, it's gonna get stuck on that bottom rung. So go ahead and put the black one on and then the blue one should slide right over top of that to go up top. So I'm sorry for the terrible angles here. Pretty small space, so. All right, we got that one on. You can see that there. Look at that, there we go. Brand new O-rings right on there. So check all around, make sure they're on perfectly, which they look good to me. So we're ready to go ahead and put that fuel filter in. So now we're gonna go ahead and put that clamp back on here. Let's see if it can go on as easy as I accidentally took it off. So, so one needs to go from the bottom, one needs to go from the top. All right, so this was nearly impossible to film. Um, but this piece right here, so it is the same on the top and the bottom. It's not even in properly, actually. There we go. So you can see how it grabs both sides. Um, you have to get that same thing on the bottom. So I actually put my hand up underneath here I was able to get one hand underneath, one hand on top, and I was able to actually slide it in properly, so. Are you kidding me? We're gonna go and remove this hose right here because I cannot get to anything. Get a little 10 millimeter bolt. That actually might be just a little bit of room that we needed just to get our hands down in there and put that uh, clamp back on. We did it. Let's tighten that up now. I'm gonna go ahead and put that 10 millimeter bolt back in. I'm gonna put that back inside there. Now we're gonna go ahead and reconnect all these hoses. Something I'm not doing today that I normally do. If I ever get these kind of hose clamps, I usually replace them with the screw ones kind of like that are on here. Um, I usually replace them with those types just cause I feel like they're a little nicer, but these aren't rusted or anything. So we're gonna go ahead and leave them as is. Usually most vehicles I'm working on, they're, they're pretty rusted, so. So now, before we put this back on, uh, remember we got our new O-rings on there too. Um, we're gonna go ahead and fill this with our diesel purge. Now, if you've got a small funnel, now's the time to use that. Let's go ahead and fill this up. Now you are gonna use the whole bottle, so just like that. All right, now we can go ahead and put this guy back on, down inside there. We've got that Mickey Mouse clip. I'm gonna go ahead and slide that on. And it should look something like that when you're done with it. All right, so now that that is all put together, we're gonna go ahead and start up the car again and go ahead and prime our fuel system. Oh, make sure we get this closed. We're gonna check and make sure there's no leaks anywhere. So make sure we don't see any fuel spraying anywhere, which I don't see anything. 